Hello fellow hunters! With the recent release of the game a lot of my friends are playing the game now, and actually asked me for tips and guides on how to beat certain bosses. Some of them got stuck early game, but one thing I noticed is that they are having a hard time beating the chapter 8 boss which is Igris. So our video for today is just my quick guide analyzing Igris skills and attack patterns. Hope this proves helpful to you guys. Let's dive right to it, but first roll intro. Congratulations! You have now defeated Igris. Igris is somewhat an easy boss once you got to familiarize his skills. His attack patterns are easy to remember and his attack speed is not that fast either, so you have enough time to timely dodge it. Patience is the key with this boss and as they say practice makes perfect. One thing to remember is make sure to equip shield breaking skills. One of the goal is to break Igris's shield as fast as possible to deal more damage. I personally suggest you use multi-strike equipped with runes if you have one already. And my personal favorite death stance since it has a heavy break damage. Next is to invest on a light element-based weapon. 
What I used before is Lustrous Dragon Sword, which deals pretty decent damage for an SR weapon. They also have a new light base spear, which I used earlier, which is pretty neat as well. And lastly is to invest in hunters with shield breaking support skills early in the game. It will carry you along the way once you invest it on the right characters. Yujinho is a pretty decent shield breaker, which you can get early in the game, and is a decent support when you get multiple copies of him as you progress in the story. There are other optional shield breakers like Huang Dongsuk, Wu Jinchul, Baek Yunho, Emma Loran, and my personal favorite Seo Jiwer. Having one shield breaker in the team is good enough, and you want to have at least one light element based hunter as well since Chapter 8 Igris is weak to light element. If you are new to the game and got Cha Heian, she's one of the best choice to invest in when beating Igris. If you got Kim Chul, I personally advise to invest in him as he is undoubtedly one of the best SR support in the game right now. That's it for today's video. If this was helpful to you, I'd like to hear your thoughts in the comments section below. If you like this content and would like to see more like this in the future, please let me know by clicking the like and bell icon so you never miss an update. See you on the next video. Happy hunting! Ha! 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 Ha!